Hello, this is Alyssa Jones with Bista Solutions, and today we're going to talk about an introduction to Odoo invoicing. During this video, we'll go through some questions that managers ask. We'll go through a workflow diagram of Odoo invoicing, and lastly, we'll walk through an example, including a little bit of analysis based on the questions we asked. Often when people look at the invoicing functionality of Odoo, they're really trying to answer some key questions that are going to help improve their business. Some of the questions that a manager might need to answer using the workflows in Odoo are, how do I create a customer invoice? How can I mark my invoices paid? How do I credit back my customer the money they have paid? How do I create a vendor bill? How do I mark my vendor bill as paid? How do I enter a refund from my vendor? What sort of vendor bill control for matching does Odoo provide? Can I see age receivables and age payables? And does Odoo invoicing have any reporting? Odoo provides you with the tools to be able to answer these questions and to better manage your invoices and bills if you understand how to set up Odoo in the right way and analyze the results correctly. Before I show you the system, I would like to take you through the workflow of Odoo. This will give you a good understanding of how one object in Odoo flows to the next. This is a simple workflow diagram for a manufacturing company that produces barbecue smokers. The portion we'll be looking at is a last swim lane. Even though invoicing is in the final accounting swim lane, vendor bills and customer invoices can be created without a document but most of the time they'll be triggered from a purchase order or a sales order. Once you have confirmed your invoice or bill, it still needs to go through the relevant reconciliation process. Please review our other videos to go through this process. Now let's look at our Odoo database. We first go to either our accounting or invoicing application depending on the version you are on. To create an invoice, we can click new invoice under my customer invoices. Or alternatively, if I'm in my invoice screen, I can select new here. Firstly, we're going to enter our customer. Uh, my customer is going to be hardware everywhere. Then enter the date of the invoice. This can be backdated if you want to, but I'm going to put my invoice date as today. If there is a reference you want to put on the invoice, which will also get past the journal entry, you can put it under the payment reference. Then for the due date, you can either enter the date or choose from the list of payment terms that are available in your system. This will then calculate the due date. Finally, in the header section, you can change your currency if required. To create the invoice lines, I select add a line. Then if the invoice is related to a product, I can add a product in here. Alternatively, if there is no product and it's just a generic invoice with no link, I can just write the, what the invoice is for in the label field. So electricity. You can change the account uh, if you want to and then you enter your quantity, price, and any taxes. So one quantity and my bill was for $1,000. The tax at 15%. If you do not have any default T's and C's set up, you can enter them on the line down the bottom here. Once you've completed the invoice, you can confirm the document. It will then post a journal entry, as seen here under the journal items. If you do want to change something on the invoice, you can so by selecting reset to draft, and it will allow you to adjust and reconfirm. In Odoo, there are two ways to mark your invoices paid. If a customer has sent you a receipt and the money hasn't hit your bank account, you can select register payment, and you can choose the payment journal in this case, I have Adian, bank or cash. Um, I'm going to choose bank and you can change the amount um, if required. 
Once I select create payment, you will see it marks it as in payment as it's still waiting to be reconciled to a bank statement. Alternatively, if you are in the enterprise version of Odoo, when you reconcile directly with the bank statement, it will add in the payment as well. <laughs> Once a payment is finalized, a customer may request a credit note. If there are no related accounting documents, you can create separate credit notes under customer credit notes. In this scenario, I already have my document I want to create my credit note against. You'll see at the top of my document, there is an add credit note button. It will ask you for your reason. Sorry, I paid for the incorrect month. This is not a mandatory field, but recommended. And then I can select reverse. You'll see it creates a draft credit note, which can be adjusted in the case of only a partial refund if need be. Once you are happy with the credit note, you can confirm it. If you need to refund the money and go ahead and do so, or if in the future you have another invoice for the customer, you can apply the open credit note. To create a vendor bill, you can either select create manually from my accounting dashboard, or alternatively, you can go to your vendor bill list view from vendors bills and select new. If you have a specific vendor bill reference you want to enter, you can override the Odoo default or you can leave it as it is. Then we're gonna enter our vendor. So I'm going to order from Parts Inc. Then you, if you have a bill reference you want to apply, you can select bill reference. And if you want to autocomplete from a purchase order or an old bill, you can do so and it will give you a list view or alternatively you can search. We're now gonna enter my bill date. If you do want to backdate this, you can, but for mine, I'm going to enter it as today. If you have a payment reference, you can enter the payment reference in here and that will push it onto the journal entry. For the due date, you can either enter the date that it's due or you can choose from payment terms from your payment terms list and it will calculate the due date based on the payment terms. Finally, in the header section, uh, you can change your currency if required. So I can choose Euro or USD. To create the bill lines, I select add a line. If the bill is for a specific product, I can enter my product. Alternatively, I can enter something in the label field and I can change the account if required. So these, this is going to be for fees. I then change my quantity, my price and any taxes required. And this is going to be for $150. If you do not have any default T's and C's, you can enter them down the bottom. Once you've completed filling in your vendor bill, you can confirm the document. When you confirm the bill, it will post a journal entry. You can see under here. If you do want to change something on the bill, you can do so by selecting reset to draft and this will allow you to adjust and reconfirm. In Odoo, there's two ways you can mark your bill as pay. If you have paid the vendor, but the transaction hasn't hit your bank account, you can select register payment and choose the payment journal. In this case, I'm going to pay by bank and you can enter your amount. Once I select create payment, you'll see it marks it as in payment as it's still waiting to be reconciled to a bank statement. Alternatively, if you're on the enterprise version of Odoo, when you reconcile it directly with your bank statement, it will add it as in payment as well as marked as payment paid. Once a payment is finalized, a customer may request a credit note. If there are no related accounting documents, you can create a separate credit note under vendors and refunds. In this scenario though, I already have my document and I wanna create the credit note on. You will see at the top of my document, there is an add credit note button. It will ask you for the reason. Overpaid. 
This is not a mandatory field, but recommended. And then I select reverse. You'll see it's created a draft reverse of my vendor bill and it's called a vendor credit note. This can be adjusted if